Hello learners, I hope you are doing well. So let's dive into this chapter, Poonam's Day Out, and understand this. Let's read it. Ma, please let me go to school today. I have been at home for the past two days. I'm getting bored, said Poonam. So what did Poonam say to her mother? Poonam said to her mother that she was getting bored and she wanted to go to school. But you still have fever. Go outside and lie down on the cot. So what is cot? Cot is nothing but it's like, you know, a bed sort of a thing on which children lie down and sleep. I do not know how to draw it, but I think you have seen like a cot. It's a cozy bed in which the children sleep. So that is what exactly a cot is. And Poonam fell asleep on the cot. Suddenly, something fell on her face. So something actually dropped on her face. And Poonam woke up at once, touched her cheek. Oh no, whose mischief is this? Is it the crows or the pigeons? It seems if that's of crows. So let's find it out. This is such a beautiful picture. And this picture basically shows what? This picture is basically showing animals that are there. Can you see there are so many animals out there whose pictures we can actually see. Let me just erase it to make you understand it more clearly. Alright. Now you can see there are so many animals here. We have pigeon. Just see where my like uh, pen is actually going. So this is a pigeon. This is a monkey. Then we have squirrel. We have ants. We have, I guess it's a sparrow, we have cuckoo, we have, uh, you know, crow, we have butterflies, we have parrot hair. So there are so many animals out there. Now, Poonam looked up. So when something fell on her face, she actually looked up and saw what? Saw many animals on the tree. We just saw there were so many animals on the tree, right? Now, which animals can you spot on the tree in the picture? Write down their names. So, we saw pigeon, we saw butterflies, we saw squirrel and sparrow, crow and cuckoo, we saw monkey and ants and what all? What all? Come on. We also saw, I guess, um, there was parrot as well. And were there anything else? I don't think so. I think this was all. So, let's move further. Now Poonam picked up a leaf from the ground and wiped her cheek with it. But her cheek was still sticky. She thought, let me go and wash my face in the nearby pond. So she went to the nearby pond to wash off her face. And this is how the pond looked like. So we can see goat, we can see turtle, we can see buffaloes, we can see a bird here, we can see frogs, we can see here Poonam. So let's move forward. Yes. So, which animals did Poonam see at the pond? Look at the picture and write their names. So, we saw goat, we saw buffalo, we saw tortoise, frogs and crane and straw. So, oh my god, where's the crane? Okay, so here they have and here is a stick. So, we can also see that. Let's move further. Can you act like the animals seen in the pond? Which animals make what kind of sounds and movement? Try to make similar sounds. Like, I know I'm very bad at making sounds like animals, like a dog or a cat. But I think you people would be better than me. So you can, you know, try this thing out. Let's move further. Different animals move in different ways to go from one place to another. Some animals walk, some crawl, some fly and some swim. For this, some animals use their feet, some use their wings, some animals even take the help of their tail. You must have seen many animals too, right? Which of them can fly, crawl, walk, hop, wing, feet and have a tail. So let's write it down. I've written a few for you. But what you can actually do is you can take your know, inspiration from the ones I've written and you can write something else in your notebooks. So the animals which can fly are parrot, crow, sparrow. The ones which can crawl are lizard, turtle and crocodile. The ones which can walk are horse, buffalo and cow. Can hop, frog, kangaroo and rabbit. Have wings, eagle, parrot and sparrow. Have feet, 
ox, cow and bear and have a tail, monkey, cow and buffalo. Now animal lives in different places, that is so true. Some live in water, some live on land, some live on trees, they all live at different places. Some animals live in trees, some in water, some live on land, some live under the ground and some fly in the sky. Some animals even live in our houses like dogs and cats, we people also have rats. So there are so many animals which live in our houses as well. So look at the pictures given below, color the animals that do not live in our house. So we have to basically color the animals that do not live in our house. I think most of us might not have horse at their place. People might have dogs, they might not have eagle, but they might have this cat, little pretty cat hair. They might have this, you know, lizard hair, rats hair. They might not or may have grasshoppers. They might not have cockroaches, some may have. Elephants won't be there. Some might have aquarium, some won't. won't. So obviously some might have fish, some won't. And then this pretty cool thing. So actually what you can do is you can color the ones that live in your place and just actually you have to color the ones that do not live, your, live at your place. So you have to color the ones that do not live at your place because here it's mentioned that they do not live at your place. So you have to color the ones that do not live at your place and just leave the ones which live at your place. So this is one of the activity which you need to do. The next is that here are some incomplete picture of animals and you have to complete them and write their names below. So we have dog, we have fish and we have a cockroach as well. So what you need to do is you have to make these. All right. So let me show you how to like, okay. So this is a dog. So, you know, we can like draw a dog here. Yeah, so I cannot draw it. My drawing is so poor. So what you can do is you have to draw all these. Then it's who am I? Find my name in the crossword and put a circle around it. One has been done for you. So I'm going to read it and I'm going to tell you how to do it. The first one is banana is what I love eating. I spend my time jumping and leaping. So who is that? Monkey. So here we have monkey hair. Next is on the walls, webs I weave where insects stick and cannot leave. So we have spider. So here I have spider written here. Then it's I remain awake the whole night and go to sleep in the broad daylight. So it's owl. Here we have owl. Then it's croak, croak, croak in my sound in water or on land I am found. So it's what? Frog. I appear after rainfall have no feet so I crawl. So it's what? Snail. Slow and steady is my pace. I always win when there is a race. So we have what? We have a tortoise. Let's move forward. So what a beautiful picture this is. What are they asking? So we have to take a look at the picture that is given above. And can we distinguish the thumbprints from the other fingerprints? Um, I think yes, we can. This is a thumbprint, but these are in thumbprints, whereas this is a thumbprint, I guess. Then I guess the face of the dog is also a thumbprint and the wings of butterfly is also thumbprints, I guess. But you have to guess. So guess and write it down. And also in a similar manner, using ink or watercolors, you have to make pictures of animals and make pictures using your own imagination. You do not have to copy the ones that are shown or you do not have to copy from, for, from your friends actually. And you have to make these pictures to decorate your school or your place. Let's move further. So in your notebook, you have to draw pictures of animals as well. So you can draw pictures of any animal, of elephant, of giraffe, of maybe a lion, a tiger, etc. Make groups of three children each. Each group will take a white paper. In each group, one child will draw the face and neck of the animal at the top of the paper and hide it by folding this part. Then the second child will draw the body of another animal in the center of the paper and hide it by folding the paper. And the third child will draw the feet of yet another animal. Now unfold the paper and look at the picture. Does it not look like a funny animal? Also look at the pictures made by your friends. So this is the activity what you need to do. You need to take a picture, you need to divide, you have to take like a paper, you have to divide the paper in three parts. 
Then one person is going to draw the face, another the body and the third one the feet. And you have to keep folding as the picture is progressing. And at the end you have to open the picture and you can actually see how funny it comes out. So this is one of the activity which you can try with your friends. Let's move further. So spend some time under a tree and observe the animals carefully. Name the animals which can be seen. So let's write it down. But before that, let me just clean everything. So now let's do it. So on the branches, we can have sparrow. I can have monkey and crow. On leaves, we can have grasshopper. We can have beetle and caterpillar. On trunk, we can have squirrel, termites and ants. On the ground, I can have rat, rabbit and hare. Around the tree, we can have cow, buffalo and goat. Now arrange these animals in the order of their size. Smallest being the first. So it will be termites, ants, then beetle, then caterpillar, grasshopper, sparrow, then rat, then squirrel, crow, rabbit, hare, monkey, goat, cow and finally buffalo. I have taken these animals so that doesn't mean that you also will take the same animals. You can take any animal whatever you want to choose and then you can actually arrange them in the order that is ours that is from smallest to the biggest and the last is the jigsaw puzzle in a jigsaw puzzle a picture is cut in such a way that one has to really think hard to fit the pictures together i hope you people have jig seen jigsaw puzzle and you have tried jigsaw puzzles at your place so now you have to make your own jigsaw puzzle. What you need to do is you need to take a paper. You have to draw painting of an animal and then you have to paste that painting on a cardboard. And after pasting that on the cardboard, you have to cut the random pieces and make a puzzle. And then you have to give it to your friend and see that whether he or she is able to do it or not. So make a jigsaw puzzle using a picture of any animal, paste the picture on a cardboard, Cut the cardboard along the edges of the picture, cut this cardboard into unequal pieces, give these pieces to your friends, ask them to put the pieces together and identify the picture. So here we come to an end of the chapter, full of staying out. I hope you people enjoyed it and I hope you people liked and had a fun time. Now you can go to Eduref site to check out all the amazing videos and content out available there. You can see pictures and videos and documents and everything and actually what not of all the subjects from English to Hindi, from social studies, science, maths, EVS, etc. So why are you waiting? Just go and check it out. Thank you very much.